So, here's the thing. My mini laces tool post is supposed to hold four tools. In reality, it barely holds one. And every time I swap cutters, I'm stuck shimming, realigning, and wasting too much time. Naturally, I upgraded to a quick change tool post, thinking it would solve everything. But it didn't. In fact, it created problems nobody really talks about. And that's how I ended up with the best of both tool post worlds. Let me show you. The stock four-way is rigid. I'll give it that. Cutting forces go straight into the bed, exactly where you want them. But here's the problem. The smallest insert holders I can buy are twice as long as the post itself. One tool sticks out the back and instantly blocks the rest. No matter how I load it, I can't use more than one slot. So, my four-way tool post is really just a one-way. And every swap means unbolting the old tool, stacking shims under the new one, and fiddling until the height lines up. It works, but it's slow, clumsy, and painful. At that point, I realized the whole point of the four-way was wasted. Like most machinists, I thought the answer was obvious. A quick change tool post. So, I bought a set with four holders and bolted it on. Well, almost. The center stud didn't fit. My lathe was too small for the larger thread. So, I had two options, re-thread the stud smaller, or drill and tap the lathe bigger. I chose the latter, my first real modification. Once it was mounted, I was excited. A quick twist of the lever and I could swap tools instantly. No more shims. Height adjustment was as easy as turning a screw. On the first cut, the tool was too low and left a little nib. But after a quick tweak, the second pass was perfect. Smooth, clean, dead on center. For a moment, I thought, paradise achieved. But it didn't last. The set came with two regular tool holders. The others, one for a round tool, one for parting blades. Handy, but I needed way more insert tools ready to go. Extra holders? That's when the reality hit. Over 3,000 Rand each, about $170. Nine of them would cost more than the entire lathe. And there was another issue. The quick change hangs off the side of the slide. So the cutting forces no longer go straight down. That overhang meant chapter. Push it just a little too hard and vibration kicks in. Worse, the tool could dig in. That was a wake-up call. Suddenly, the perfect upgrade didn't look so perfect anymore. Instead of giving up, I made my own tool holders. I ordered cast iron stock, picked up a T-slot cutter and started machining. One by one, I built nine holders, all 
for less than the cost of a single bought one. Now every tool had its own home. Set once and ready forever. Swapping became effortless and the quick change finally worked the way it was meant to. For a while the original tool post stayed in the drawer. It didn't even fit anymore after I drilled the slide bigger. But over time I realized I missed it. The rigidity, the rock solid clamping, the way it resisted chatter no matter how hard I pushed. So I thought, why not have both? So I made a new center stud. Now I can swap between quick chains and four way anytime. Speed and convenience when I want it. Rock solid rigidity when the cut demands it. It turned out better than I could have hoped. After I finished the project, I realized there was still one more improvement worth making. I wanted the four-way and the quick change to share the same nut. That way, I'd only need a single wrench for both tool posts. So, I made a new center stud, this time from cast iron. I mounted the round in the 3 jaw chuck, spotted the end with the center drill and supported it with the live center. Then I turned the shaft down to 12mm, the thread size I needed, and smoothed it with a diamond plate so it would slide cleanly through the tool post. Next I threaded the end with a 12mm die. I should have used cutting oil but the thread still came out decent enough. After that, I flipped the stock and turned the other end to 12mm, leaving a 16mm shoulder between the two threaded sections. Then I cut the second thread. The bore in the four-way tool post was just under 12mm, so I set it up in the four jaw and bored it out for a snug fit. That should hold the stud tightly and cut down on chatter. Finally, I clamped the stud in a collet block on the mill and milled flats so it can be fastened with a 14mm spanner. Now the four-way locks down with the same wrench as the quick chains. Simple, solid and convenient. So, was the quick change tool post worth it? Yes, but only after making my own tool holders and keeping the original for rigidity. In the end, the real win wasn't choosing one tool post over the other, it was adapting both to my needs and ending up with the best of both worlds. Check out the next idea by clicking the link on screen. See you in the next project.